Hey there y'all, today I'm going to introduce you to a new truck I got. It's a 1976 Ford F-250 uh, Camper Special Ranger and it is fantastic. Let me get y'all a good view of it here. I got a steal of a deal on this thing and um, a lot of people's first question is does it run? And no, there's a lot of work to do to it, but um, I think it was way worth what I paid for it, and there's a lot of potential for it. So first we'll look under the hood. It's got a 460 in it. As you can see, there's no carb, but um, some highlights are it's not seized up, and it actually looks like most of the components are there and um, has the original AC compressor in it that is completely not seized up so that's awesome I'm pretty sure in order to get this running we're going to need a coil we're going to need wiring because for some reason whoever had this truck last literally just chopped all the wiring off you probably also saw over there, it doesn't have a master cylinder or brake booster or steering column or steering gear. I already have a steering gear off of an F-250 from a junkyard and I will go buy most of the parts I need for this off that F-250 in the near future. So let's see. Um, it has an automatic transmission in it. I haven't looked to see exactly what transmission it is, but it has fluid in it, and the engine has oil in it, and they both look pretty good, so that's always a good sign. Um, when they took the master cylinder out and the steering gear out, they just chopped the lines off. I don't know who in their right mind would just start chopping stuff, but this person did. So I have to get some new metal brake lines and some new lines for the power steering, but that's not a big deal. Those will come cheap. And then, yeah, I have a friend who offered a carb, so hopefully I can, it's, it's used, but you know, that's better than spending four or five hundred bucks on a new one. Um, I think it needs a new water pump because this one doesn't spin very well and you can hear it do that. Um, but that's not a big deal either. The fan's already off it. Should bolt in and out fairly easily. So then let's go to the back real fast. Got the fan back there. Got the air cleaner. We've got this thing here, which my F100 does not have. And then those right there are the are ripped off the brake lines and the power steering lines. All right, now for the inside. So, right now it's cluttered because I have all my stuff in here. But, um, most, you know, the carpet is in, eh, it's not in great shape. But, right here it is. Missing a dash. But again, that F-250 in the junkyard has a dash I should be able to get my hands on. I plan to get all the wiring harness out of that F-250 and throw it in here. Um, that'll be a heck of a job. It's missing a gas pedal, but I'll hope to get that too. And the door panel is not on the driver's side door, but that is in the bed here, and it's actually in really good shape. I mean... Look at that. It just needs cleaning up. That's awesome. Um, dash pad is cracked, as always. They always are. But it's not terrible, so it'll probably stay on there for now. And I don't know what those headlights are doing in there. They're not the right ones for this model truck, but that's fine. So then, in the back, again, that's, the front seat is in pretty good condition. And then in the back you have your two fold-up seats back there. 
Um, carpet is dirty but intact. So let's go around to the driver's side. You know, it's missing a tailgate, but we acquired a cat, so that's okay. Um, we have both keys to the uh, gas caps. Here's this door panel in lovely condition. And you can get a closer view of that. The window regulator needs replacing here, and it might in the other door as well. But have most everything here that you know looks like it needs. Obviously, we need a radio, but uh, we don't need that to get it running or driving. So there's that, and then has all of its trim, and this body tell you what it is straight as all get out it needs a power wash but I am leaving that paint on as long as I can the only place where it's a little beat up is right there but other than that I mean the thing straight as a ruler it's awesome um, I cleaned off a little bit of the muck over here you can see the paint underneath is in pretty darn good shape once it's just cleaned up a little bit. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, and then finally, under the car here, we're missing a drive shaft. It's a two-piece drive shaft, so I have to find one of those. But, shouldn't be too terribly difficult. So, this is my new project truck. My brother and I will be working on it together. And uh, I'll be keeping you all up to date. I'll be making tutorials on it, but I'll also be vlogging about it and letting you all know how it's going. Let me know if there's things you all want me to do or advice you all have for me. And thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and check out my tutorial videos on my 74 Ford F100. Thanks.